Come in. Hey, hey, Larry, have a seat. What? I'm not gonna have a seat just yet, Mike. So I'm really having some problems here, Mike. Is there a problem, Larry? Well, Mike, clearly there is a problem since everyone around me is enjoying pizza during what is clearly an organized pizza party I was not invited to, Mike. Oh, tell you what, Larry, why don't you have yourself a piece of pizza? There you go. Well, I'm not gonna have a piece of pizza just yet, Mike. So I'm really having some problems here, Mike. I'm having some problems with some of my cubicle partners, mainly Kip Butterfield. Last week, Kip Butterfield and I planned on having a pizza party. Now I come back from eating a cold Subway sandwich and find a pizza party going on I wasn't invited to. I was 50% responsible for this pizza party, Mike. Hey, Mike, you gonna come join us? Mm -hmm. I'll be out in a minute. Hey, Kip really knows how to throw a pizza party, right? <laughs> Kip Butterfield is not solely responsible for this pizza party, Mel. I was 50% part responsible for this pizza party, Mike. Mel, back me up on this. Now, you of all the people in this office should know about this, Mel. You are like the eyes, ears, and nose of this entire institution. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's level the playing field here, Mel. You were in a cubicle when there was a pizza party being planned between Kip Butterfield and myself. Now, Mike, the fact that I was 50% responsible for this pizza party is undeniable, Mike! Well, Marcia, Marcia, have you ever planned something? Like, oh, I don't know, maybe a pizza party? Now, how did you feel when you planned a pizza party and had not received credit where credit is due, Marcia? Mel? Mike? Marsha? What am I, the invisible pizza party man here, Mike? Rosa, are you enjoying that piece of pizza, Rosa? Because I'm 50% responsible for you even getting that piece of pizza, okay. Rosa. Right. Now, Larry, Larry, don't yell at Rosa. Rosa is not the issue here, Mike. Now, I don't mean to be a bugbear about all this, Mel, but tomorrow I'm gonna have to go back to my cubicle with my cubicle partner, Kip Butterfield, and stew about this pizza party, Mike. <laughs> Kip's gonna look at me with that great big smile on his face, and I'm gonna have to say, great pizza party, Kip. You threw a great pizza party, Kip. Hey, you guys, you better come out here. Kip's telling a really funny story. <laughs> Good stories. Tell him that story. It's a teabag story, man. It's a teabag story. It's a party. No invitation. Why is a pizza party crazy? Right. <laughs> Mike, I lost my temper. I tore the door off your mini fridge. Larry, this behavior is unacceptable, okay? You can't just go around throwing tantrums and trashing offices. Now, I've been real patient with you, Larry, but I've had just about enough. I'd like you to take the rest of the day off. I'll buy a new mini fridge, Mike. <laughs> Sorry I ruined the pizza party, everybody. <laughs> Sorry, Mel. You. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, uh, Larry, Larry, don't go, don't go. You know what? Maybe I was being a little harsh on you, okay? Tell you what, why don't you just come on over here. Come on, come on. Come on over here. Tell you what, have a piece of pizza and join the party, huh? Yeah? Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, I'm really having a problem here, Mike. This is a sincere invitation to a pizza party. It's a piece of penny pizza, Mike. <laughs> what happens when you get Butterfield? You plan a couple of picnics? Butterfield is up to do.